now when I read your book and I looked at the storyline, there is only one mm -hmm. thing I can think about you because your book is a fashion. Yeah. And that is your creativity and imagination mm -hmm. is beyond understanding. How are you able to really have mm -hmm. that imagination just to put such a story together? Because the first time I told you that this book is a movie. Yeah. And this book should be acted by Hollywood star. Yeah, you told me, I remember. <laughs> how, how are you able to be so creative and have that imagination to put such a storyline together? Well, um, I take inspirations from normal things. For example, as we we're chatting now, there will be something you we'll say. Um, it might not come to me now, but in the wee hours of the night, then ideas will just start popping in my head. Sometimes I'm even going to town, and then I'm sitting in a in a commercial vehicle, and then there are people conversing, or there is the, the, the conductor is having an argument with someone. I pick something from there. So I pick inspiration from the ordinary things around me, and then I, I put it together. I've always had this uh, situation is don't be predictable in life. Mm -hmm. Don't be too predictable. So I put that don't be too predictable in my in my artwork. When I'm writing, I don't want people to be too predict to be able to predict it. I want to give you that, you know, like you want to know what is gonna happen, what is gonna happen. I want to give you that um, time to also think, relax, and think about what you are reading. You're not just reading it. But you are you are consuming it. You are uh, you are trying to think like me. I, I can't remember one of the reviews I got from an author was like she wants to borrow my brain for a few minutes because she doesn't understand how I process information. She wants to put this piece together. But then again, I can't remember my MC during the lunch coffee day. He said something to me. He was like when he read the book. If he could uh, compare it to uh, the severe tail of a lizard, a fresh, like when you cut a lizard freshly, see the tail will just be hovering around. He said that was how the book was. The way he started, he thought he could just predict the end. But as he was going, things kept on changing. Things kept on changing. So sometimes my, the way I process my thoughts, or before I speak something, I don't just go about and say anything. I pick inspiration from my uh, around, I take my time. Sometimes I have a hideout. My hideout, sometimes I, you are, I can even go to the beach on Mondays. It is an odd day because I feel that most people don't go to the beaches on Monday. But it's a, it's a good day for me because there is, there is less people there. I go there just to make my brain, you know, think of something. Like, what is different about this? Maybe we're talking about uh, the painting behind you. Mm -hmm. To me, it's not just a painting. Mm -hmm. it's, it carries a story. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a coconut tree. There's a heart. What is it telling me? What is different? What can I put together to make this painting come alive? Wow. That is just me. Wow. 